Oil and gas will remain crucial to meeting our energy demand for decades to come. Shell is committed to helping meet the world's needs in a safe and responsible way. As the company explores and develops reserves around the globe, it also invests heavily in developing and deploying a range of new technologies, technologies that it hopes will never be used. Capping stacks are a key component of Shell's safety equipment. They are used to control or shut in wells in the event of a blowout. These modular systems are ready and available for deployment to Shell operations worldwide. In addition to Shell's own capping stacks, Shell is a founding member of two major industry initiatives, giving them access to five more capping stacks located at key sites around the globe. Both organizations develop state-of-the-art capping technologies that improve the industry's capability to quickly regain control of a well blowout. A capping stack stands approximately 30 feet high and weighs in at almost 100 tons. It contains a series of rams and valves that can handle pressures of up to 15,000 pounds per square inch and can operate at depths of up to 10,000 feet. Shell's capping stacks are regularly tested and maintained in a state of continuous readiness. And whilst in 40 years of deep water well operations, we have not had an event that would require us to use a capping stack, the procedures are in place to deploy one instantly, should an emergency arise. In which case, the first step is a site assessment by a remotely operated underwater vehicle, or ROV. Once a capping stack is requested, it is transported to the dock and loaded onto a deep water supply vessel. Back at the well, the blowout preventer is prepared for capping as the ship heads to the incident location. Prior to its arrival, the top section of the blowout preventer is lifted away leaving the base ready for capping. The accumulator pack, which provides the capping stack with hydraulic power, is lowered to the seabed. The capping stack is then deployed and guided by the ROV onto the leaking blowout preventer. With the capping stack installed, oil now flows through the main bore and from four diverter lines. Meanwhile, the ROV connects the accumulator pack to the capping stack and powers up the hydraulics. The ROV is then able to start to control the flow of oil by closing the rams that shut down the main bore. With the oil now flowing from the diverter lines, the ROV progressively closes valves or chokes gradually reducing the flow of oil until it is eventually stopped completely. With the well back under control, pressures within the capping stack are monitored before a secondary seal is installed and recovery operations can begin. While Shell is doing everything it can to prevent this equipment from being needed, the company also recognizes the need to be prepared and is able to respond instantly to keep its wells safe wherever they are.